Good morning, everyone. Hope your Thursday's off to a great start, and hopefully we can help make it a little bit better. That's what we're all about here at California Live. That's true, Danny. It's what we strive for every single day. And ladies, this morning we have a double dose of handsome to start off the show. Yeah, we're serving up a double helping of Van Peebles this morning. And Jess, I have to say, they are delicious. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Mario and his son Mandela are starring in the new movie A Clear Shot and Layla caught up with the dynamic father and son duo at a famous spot in Hollywood. I'm here at the legendary Chinese theaters in Hollywood in a VIP screening lounge. Grab my popcorn right now. Uh, ladies, when you hear the name Van Peebles, what comes to mind? You don't even have to tell me. I'm catching up with the father and son duo starring in a new film called A Clear Shot. Mario Van Peebles and Mandela Van Peebles. Oh. First of all, the hype is real, Mario. <laughs> you hear that, Della? I, I heard it. I, you know, I don't believe him sometimes, but I heard it from him. Yeah. <laughs> See, because I always tell him that, but he's like, no, nah, no, nah, no, nah, you don't know. But he, he kind of took my face and ran with it. He, he is did. literally a spitting really? image of you, the smile and everything. And mm -hmm. I wonder for Mandela, when people talk about you look just like your dad, does that bother you or you take it as a compliment? I, I don't mind it. I, I kind of have an idea of where I'll age, you know? <laughs> oh! I'm like, just like a, a nice gauge. I don't need to look too far to see my future self. So it's, it's nice. Because Daddy is legendary yeah. fine. He's like, oh, fine, fine. When you say, I'm going to go interview Mario Van Peebles, they're like, honey. Uh, uh, so I don't know. Here's the thing. What we, we, we know my family is that, and I tell my daughters and my sons, pretty is temporary, mm. dumb is forever. <laughs> and in our family, you know, my, my dad had told me that, uh, you know, a lot of black fathers can teach you to play ball. He said, but I'm going to teach you how to own the team. So part of what has been very helpful for me was to go to school, get an education. Mm -hmm. I, I majored in economics and be able to speak finance so that you can be in a position not just to be in a film, but to mm -hmm. direct a film, to make a film, and to understand when people go through that, what, that's, what that job's like. Because, you know, there's four phases in your life, if you're lucky. There's Mario who, get me Mario, get me a young Mario, and Mario who? So what phase are you in right now? Because I still feel like you're, you're getting me Mario. Well, that hopefully. <laughs> um, I've, been, I've been really lucky that I, you know, I've been able to uh, do what I love doing for a while now. And I think when you, when you love what you do, you, uh, you age differently, don't you think? When you laugh and play, like, mm. we, he just uh, texted me a little while ago. He said, Dad, we want to go, me, him and the other kids, want to go whitewater rafting. So we jumped in some rafts and went whitewater rafting. So. Mm. We do stuff now, like the Van Peebles family. I think we're kind of like, we're like the Jacksons, but without the talent. <laughs> oh, no, you guys have the talent. Yeah, you have the talent. We're going to talk about all well, we don't this have talent. talent, but <laughs> but, uh, but you know, so we. I think when you love and you, you know, get to hang out with your kids and work with them, uh, and and work and I work with my dad too. It's it's like you just age differently because you're just you are, you appreciate it right now. Yeah, let's talk about that. So, right so you mentioned working with yeah. your dad. And I know this is not the first time you two have worked together. Yeah. Um, what was it like for you, Mandela, the first time you got the chance to work with your dad? Oh, man. Well, that was the first time I got the chance to work ever. But uh, Judgment Day, way back. Oh, I was a little yeah. wee biscuit. I don't even remember. <laughs> yeah. Probably like four, nine, yeah. yeah. But um, I think the, the, my, one of my favorite experiences besides Clear Shot was Roots because um, we were together. I. He was working on it, and I, lo I love him. He's a real cool guy. He won't set you up for failure, you know? Mm -hmm. So I wanted to be in Roots. I'm pushing, and he's like, well, send in a tape. I'm like, yeah, put my tape on the table. He's like, yeah, send in a tape. So I send an audition. I put it under my middle name, and uh, it goes. because cool, he, he put it in his middle name and said, look, if I suck, I don't want to embarrass you. Yeah. And if I'm good, I don't want people to think I got it because of you. Exactly. So he just used his middle name. So yeah. continue to start yeah. so, it's real. So when, when we do find out, like, oh, it's down to two people, I'm like, well, who? He's like, you're one of them. I was like, oh, dang, like, this is cool. But then when I finally did book it, it's not that vibe of, oh, this is my dad on set. Like, we're pals outside of set, but we can have multiple relationships. We speak multiple languages. There's the father-son when we're just hanging. Mm -hmm. There's the actor-director mm -hmm. when we're working. There's actor-actor, like on A Clear Shot, which is, is a lot of fun. When he's an actor, it's, it's just boys having fun. So let's talk about A Clear Shot. So what was it about this movie uh, that piqued your interest, knowing that, it, first of all, it's based on a true story, mm -hmm. a real-life uh, hostage situation that happened in Sacramento. What was it about this film? What I liked about the character I got to play in Clear Shot was he seemed to be able to understand and recognize the humanity in others. 
Malcolm knew you can't lead the people if they don't feel the love. Dr. King knew and Gandhi knew you can't lead the people if they don't feel the love. I bet you just come to life on the screen as that hostage negotiator. Yeah, I'd like to think so. <laughs> Try to save his ass. Right, because, because tell us about what your, what your role is. Man, in the I'm just trying to sell some computers, man. I just want to have a good day, to get his clock day out. Day. Yeah, just clock out of work. What was the best advice your dad gave you that you've carried on um, as a director and an actor? Early to bed. Early to rise. <laughs> work like hell. Advertise. Oh, so you passed it on to Mandela. <laughs> no, and that's grandpa's thing. Grandpa, early bed, early rise. Work, work like, like hell at advertising. That's man. it. So and keep on keeping on. Keep on keeping on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my dad is one of the don't don't make excuses, get yeah. out and make it happen. Get yeah. it done. You know, so he already said there's three kinds of people in the world. So there's people that watch things happen, people that complain about things that happen, mm. and people that get out and make things happen. Mm. And we always like to be, you know, go ahead and make it happen. Yeah, well, that's some good advice. Yeah, it is. Yeah, you can tell those two are, like, best friends, very close. Great to I know, see. and it sounds like they're more, like, best friends than they yeah. are father and son. They're so cute. Yep. <laughs> Too cute.